Well, here's the big one, doing math with rasters. We can do basically whatever kind of mathematical manipulation of this raster we would like. What's the technical term for doing math with rasters? Well, it's actually map algebra. We can do very uh, simple algebra with rasters. We can do very sophisticated uh, mathematical manipulation with rasters and anything in between in order to manipulate them. So what does it mean to do map algebra or doing math with rasters? Well, in this case, you can uh, multiply an entire raster by some number. This is a really easy example. Uh, I'm multiplying the raster by 10. And so what happens is the computer will take every cell and then come down here and multiply it by 10 and then put that value in the new cell. And again, remember these are geopositioned, so the output of this mathematical operation will be georeferenced at the exact same point that the input of this operation was. And I think if you go through here and look at all of my cells, should anyway, what you're seeing is the cell being taken from the input and then going over here being multiplied by 10 and then being put in the output. So this is map algebra just multiplying by a constant like this. If I want to add 10, well, no problem, the same story. I'm going through here and I'm taking the input value, I'm adding 10 to it, and then I'm uh, putting the, the sum into the cell that it comes from and having these geopositioned. This in here can be as complicated as I want. I'm going to be very simple examples, but if you want to put in a, a very sophisticated mathematical operation here, a very sophisticated equation with other variables and everything else, you are welcome to. The computer it will be very happy to manipulate this raster according to whatever equation that you put in here. And so this is a simple example, and sometimes simple is great. Simple will help you answer questions and solve problems. But in the event that you are trying to answer something that is more sophisticated, it might require a more sophisticated equation, and the computer will be right there, uh, very happy to help you out manipulating your rasters according to your more sophisticated and potentially very complex equation. I can also perform mathematical computations among rasters or between rasters. I don't always have to be using a constant or an equation, I can also use other rasters and I can give them mathematical operators between the rasters. So in this case, what I'm doing is just summing, I'm just saying I'm doing some addition of two different rasters. Whatever they happen to be, I can tell the computer, hey, let's add them together, and the computer will do that for me. So in this case, you should see everything should work well. I'm adding, so I'm taking two over here, in this case plus what, three, and then it's going over here and sticking five into that cell. Remember in this case that all of these are geopositioned. So I've got raster number one in the exact same place. Raster number one, raster number two is laying right on top of raster one. We're looking at them side by side, but these two are laying on top of each other, and then I have this third raster that's going to be produced, which is also going to be in the exact same geographic position. But let's see here. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4, and uh, all across the bottom, 1, 1, and 2. You can check all of this out, but you can see what's going on here. If these were all stacked on top of each other because they are all georeferenced on top of each other, it would take the cell and then look for the cell that's directly on top of it in the next raster, add them together, and then produce, uh, put that in an output raster. So that's the big four in raster analysis. Those are the big four tools that you need to know. Uh, again, uh, sort of like the geoprocessing tools with vector, I suppose these are rather abstract because people always do ask, well, why would I want to do that? What purpose could this serve? Well, what's important here again is to look at these four things that you can do, understand them on an abstract level, understand exactly what they do, understand exactly how they manipulate a raster, but then once you get into circumstances where you need to manipulate a raster, it's important for you to be able to take the abstract operation and apply it 
in a way that makes sense for what you are doing and in a way that will solve your problem or answer your question. And so being that map algebra is so powerful, if you can think through a mathematical way to solve your problem or answer your question, you can have the computer execute your mathematics on all of the rasters, return you a raster as an output and look at it and assess you know what the solution is based on the computer's return. If you understand these four you can do a lot with rasters. Maybe, like I said, you can do everything with rasters but uh, we'll say at least you can do most everything that you'd ever want to be able to do with a raster. So we'll leave the summary of the big four things that you can do with rasters right here and we'll begin to look at applications and a few more things about them in future videos.